What's up guys, Corey Fulham, your car guy here. And today is finally January 1st, 2024, which means we finally came into the new year. So happy new year, everyone. So today I decided to do something a little bit different than just talk about other stuff like uh, cars and stuff like that. I've been doing there. But uh, anyways, here we go. So I got some sad news to tell you about my 2012 Ford Focus. So anyways, here's how it goes. But uh, unfortunately, my Ford Focus just got into a wreck from hitting that deer. Anyways, I'll tell you the story. Well, it all started when I was on my way to the grocery store. It just happened at around 9.30 p.m. on November 27th, 2023. I had my high beams on and I was doing the speed limit and, and I was watching the road at the same time. And all of a sudden, I just hit a deer. So when my Ford Focus hit that deer very hard at that speed, it caused my hood to be bent causing it to go up into the front windshield, making things difficult for me to see. So then I had to pull over and turn my hazards on before it gets even worse. And that piece of a fog lamp was missing and it made my headlamps to be broken, my left headlamps. So then I waited for help to arrive, which was the OPP officers. They wanted to make sure I'm all right. And in my case I am, but uh, I was very lucky I never got killed in the wreck. But uh, so then I waited for the tow truck to arrive and then they took my car away and it was a piece of junk anyways, but uh, it was in, it's in bad condition, so. But uh, anyways, I'll show you the footage in a second, but uh, I still miss my Ford Focus. It still had about 165,000 kilometers, I think, as of today. But um, I had that car when I was 18 years old. I just bought that car back in November 20, 2015. Well, this is the morning after damage report yeah. yeah I can see the part of the air filter is exposed and this little piece is broken there yeah that's busted the battery cover is busted Headlamps busted, and uh, the hood, the hood is dented right over there, like that, sticking out like that. Yep, that's all she wrote. Yeah, everything's toast there. You can see the. I don't know if I can see that thing there. The radiator fan is probably squished. Yeah, the alternator belts and the spark plugs there. The headlight don't look the same anymore. That's busted there. And my tires are still still holding air. Same on the back side there too. Yeah. That's all she wrote. I'll just have to take the hubcaps off of it. I'm not too sure. Okay, so I took the hubcaps off the car. And, uh... I can actually still lock and unlock the car. And the door will just open halfway. Wonder if the motor still cranks. We'll have to find out. Yeah, battery's dead. Yeah, you can see something flashing in there. Yeah, it's not gonna go, but... Yeah, she's definitely done for. What a waste. Yeah, she's definitely totaled, so... That's all she wrote. Well, goodbye, old car. I'm sure gonna miss you. A lot of memories but uh, I'm definitely going to be using my wheel covers on my other vehicles that was a lot of memories drove that car for about eight years and uh, put a lot of miles on it well I'm gonna end this video right now take your easy 
so I had no vehicle back then, but I went on Kijiji and I was looking for a newer used vehicle to buy. But actually, I did end up buying a used vehicle that is more than 25 years old. It's not like a Honda or a Nissan or a Mitsubishi or whatever. Not like the Chrysler, Jeep Dodge or Ford or Lincoln. It's actually a vehicle built by GM. It's a Cadillac, so I'm going to show it to you right now. And also, one more thing I forgot to mention, that Cadillac was also a big car as well, so I'm going to show it to you. Alright, so here I am outside, so I'm going to show you guys my new vehicle that I just bought. And here it is. Can you see it? So, I'd like to introduce you my newest addition. It's a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham, and this car has got a long list of safety features. But the reason why I bought this car is because I want to replace my other vehicle, the one that got into a wreck. But this car has no rust anywhere. It's got that stainless steel, um, some sort of thing there. But this reminds me of that body styles, such as the Buick Roadmaster, Chevrolet Caprice, and the Chevrolet Impala SS, and the Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser Station Wagon from the 90s no rust anywhere but uh, this car did come from City Motors which is a Chevrolet and Oldsmobile and Cadillac dealer which was located in Campus Casey but it's renamed to uh, Eastview Chevrolet but uh, I'll show you so this car did come with two sets of keys when I acquired the car over here I got one set over here and I had to keep the other set just in case if I lost my other keys I'll be able to get into my doors really easily. So this car has got some safety features such as a keyless entry and as well as a theft deterrent alarm system, security system. It's pretty much the same thing as a theft deterrent system. Anyways, we'll just go step inside. Power door locks work. And it's got all the different types of things over here such as power windows, seat adjuster, and it's got a seat heater over here, power lumbar support, Cadillac logos on the door sill. It's really nice. And it's even got headlights over here, a twilight uh, switch over here. Anyways, I'll just go step inside. And it is minus 8 Celsius outside. So, so this car has got a electronic climate control over here, fan speed temperature auto front and rear defrost as well outside temperature and this one did come with the factory am fm radio with cassette cd awesome cadillac logos brome which is the top of the line and inside over here it's got the trunk release button over here and as well as a traction control disable switch right there it's kind of awesome to have so this car has got tilt steering over here and uh, turn signals still work, windshield wipers work, and it's got cruise control over here. It's kind of awesome. Trip set button over here, metric or the imperial. You can switch it to miles or kilometers. I'll just leave it in kilometers because we live here in Canada anyways. You can see the light there. It says security system right there. As you can see over here, it's got a nice little armrest over here. It did come with the uh, book over here, Cadillac. It's got the cassette CD storage compartment over here. It's got a dual cup holder as well. Coin holders over here. It's kind of awesome. I'll show you over here. So this car did come with the uh, warranty and owner assistance information really cool it does have the driver's airbag over here you can see right now and it's got sunglasses storage over here I don't want to I don't know what that is but uh, all the interior lights work and all the other stuff let's go check out the back but the interior is beautiful no one has ever sat in the back seat oh yeah I gotta get that hang on as you can see, it does have child security lock. We'll try now. There we go. As you can see over here, it's got cigarette lighter over here, ashtray over here. The 
The back seat is awesome. No one has ever sat in it. Same thing there, child security lock. Ashtray on that side there. It does have cup holders for their rear occupants. Cup holders, armrest there. And more storage there. Right here. And now I'm gonna show you under the trunk. Okay, I'll show you that right now. It's got a amount of uh, bigger cargo space over here. You can actually fit the amount of groceries. It did come with the uh, original jack. Spare wheels inside there. You can see right there. Yeah, everything's all original. Now I'm gonna show you under the hood. All this. I'm gonna open this. See if I can do this with one hand. There we go. So this has got the 5.7 liter, 350 small block, naturally aspirated, throttle body injected V8, producing 185 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque. And the uh, air cleaner looks pretty good. It's, it says 5.7 liter right there. You can see right there, 5.7 liter. And then I noticed when I bought this vehicle, it did come with the uh, Motormaster battery, which is the Canadian Tires house brand battery. And uh, it's really awesome. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up for you guys and you can hear how it sounds like. But uh, it ran really good when I bought the car. Runs, drives, just like the day she was born. Gotta get the key out of my pocket here. Turn everything off there. And it is really cold, believe me. She starts really good. So this vehicle did come with the uh, power uh, rear power mounted antenna. It's got all that stuff there. Let's go check her out. perfect. Runs just like new. It's never been rebuilt. This car came from Kappa Skasing 10 years ago. But I did purchase this vehicle in Sturgeon Falls, Ontario. It was owned by an 82 year old man. You know, it's kind of awesome. Everything on this car still works, like the uh, headlamps, turn signal lamps there. It's kind of awesome. Close the hood. Gotta love classic cars in Canada. Nobody wants to drive V8s, rear wheel drives here too much anymore unless it's a Mustang or hot rod. Like, how many young people want to drive an old man's car? It's kind of awesome. It's even got the Braun logos over here. Black vinyl roof. See the smoke coming up from the back? Runs and drives awesome. And it's even got the Fleetwood locals, same on the passenger side. Well, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoy my video of my new 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. I will be making new videos for 2024, so be sure to stay tuned for that. So this year is going to be even more epic. I will be definitely taking this car to the car shows and as well as the Earlton Steam Show this year. So as always, like, subscribe favorite and don't forget to check out my other videos and content be sure to stay tuned next time there's always a lot more where it came from take it easy guys